Yo guys, so this is a common issue that I'm finding across many Blender Octane users. Now this is from my community here and when we do, one of our members has a problem where every time he's firing up the render, it keeps crashing. Now there could be a couple of issues on this. Just from data that I've calculated within the community here and different things that we've come across and issues, the first thing I would check is to make sure if you made any updates to your drivers, NVIDIA drivers in particular, you may run into some issues sometimes with Octane. And you need to make sure that you got the, the proper drivers. I, I always recommend not immediately jumping to the newest NVIDIA driver updates immediately. I always wait, especially with Octane, Octane or Otoy slightly behind. And I would always, I always just wait. And even for me, just FYI, I always wait on any updates, like especially when Windows rolls out new updates, I don't have my automatic updates checked. I wait just because there might be issues. There's, there's always issues. So I always linger back on updating, not like, you know, months and months, but I don't immediately update to whenever the newest update, especially when it comes to drivers, Nvidia, Windows, anything. I always wait a little bit. Okay, so FYI. So in the past, we did have an issue with NVIDIA drivers, particularly with Octane, that they weren't, the newest one wasn't working with the current version of Octane. So they had to roll back their drivers in order to get it to work. So that'll be the first thing I would also check. Second, sometimes you might need, you might run into issues where it's not loading because of, you might have reached the limit on your GPU. And if that is the case, it, every time you go to render, it might render a couple of frames and then crash because you're basically reaching the, the limit of, of your GPU memory. So it, Octane doesn't kind of give you like a warning. There is ways of checking that. Let me quickly show you that. If you're in your Blender scene, you go and make sure you got your Octane render activated and everything. If you scroll down to Octane server, you tap this down here and then you'll scroll into device preferences. And you'll quickly see here, down here, this chart, it will show you. Once you got stuff in your scene, these, these numbers will start to fill up. And this bar will fill up here. And you can see this is the max of my GPU. And this bar will start to fill up telling you what you need. So if you're in this gray area, you've obviously maxed everything out. And you might have some issues or some weirdness will start happening. Okay, so that's one thing I do recommend. There are other settings in here like GPU headroom. I'm not gonna talk about these settings because I don't change them. I keep them at default. I keep mine at stock, okay? And another thing that you might need to take note of, if especially when you're running Octane, when you go into your render preferences in Blender and you got your setup here, make sure to have, some people weren't utilizing their GPU to full the max. Make sure you do not have CPU checked. Like in the past, I would always have CPU and GPU checked. Don't do that. Make sure you just have NVIDIA GP, the GPU selected so you can do that. I have both selected and I noticed that there were times when I'm rendering and my GPU, when I would go to Windows Diagnostic, it would show that the GPU was only running at like 30% and the CPU was running at like 50%. So it was like splitting it and it wasn't making the render times any faster. It was actually making things slower. I de-checked my CPU and only checked GPU. Boom, you can immediately switch. GPU was running at 90%. Like, so make sure you do not have both checked, okay? And then if you get, if you got the optics, kudix, you know, make sure you got all that stuff set up. But that's one thing I also make sure that you check that you do not have them both set up. Another thing too, you know, recommended by one of our users here is make sure like when you're building a scene that you do not start with the initial scene with cycles enabled. Like if you got a default Blender setup file or something and it always has, you know, cycles as the default render and you start building your scene and then you flip the tab over to Octane, I recommend not doing that. Oh, I built all my scenes to start up with Octane as the designated you know, render engine. So it's like literally a fresh Octane Blender scene. I would recommend doing that. If you guys do not have one, I do have a free one that's on my Gumroad. If you shoot over to my Gumroad, right here you see Octane Blender file V2 2024. It's free, I've got lots of free stuff here. This is a setup file that I basically use and it's like boom, it goes straight in there. It's all set up with Octane, everything's ready to go. You can download that for free, check that out. Hopefully that, that might be able to help you and you know, I hope this a couple of these things might help you troubleshoot any issues that you might be having. Again, also check out the Gumroad. There's lots of free stuff on here that will help you guys out. If you guys want more in-depth 
definitely take a look at the Blender Octane community here. Again, we help each other out. You can get your, your questions answered in a more timely manner under like, you know, some forums or groups you go on and your question will go months un, un, unanswered. Well, we're all here. So we kind of take pride in immediately answering people's problems and issues, swapping Blender files to take a look at if we can help each other out and things like that. Again, I'm just learning octane and documenting my journey and sharing the knowledge out as i go to help people who are interested in using blender octane take a look at this video here to get you set up with blender octane start to finish ready to go hope you guys enjoy peace